Okay, so today we've got another C-Class, late 2000s, and today we are programming a new used transmission or conductor plate. This is actually the conductor plate that's in the transmission, and we're programming that. We're actually going to virginize it and then program it into the car. We've got internet, which is one of the biggest things that you need with this. We have our homemade cable plugged in. Even though I can tell you right now, they make cables for these 7G transmissions. Not a big deal. And if you notice, what a beautiful shot. Look at that. Okay. You can tell we've updated our Abritas. You can see the nice little new icons. Okay. Going to go to special functions. DAS manager. We're going to go to transmission control module. We're going to read it. Hopefully we're going to get a read on this. Okay, now we're going to virginize it. That always gets me when it says no internet connection. When that happens, usually the second time. Okay, so we'll restart. Okay, so now we're processing and it says that it has internet. So now it should come back with data processed okay, preparing ECU virgin. It has the service password. So now you can see where the control unit is not personalized and not activated. Mm -hmm. So now, what we're going to do, we're going to lower the car down, hook up to the OBD2, and personalize it to the car so it'll work. Okay, so we are in our, and this is a 09 of 06 C class. We're going to turn our key to the on position, and we are going to once again, I didn't even shut down the program. We're going to read the transmission conductor plate. And if you notice, it still says not personalized. I'm going to shut down and shut off the flash. Okay, so now we don't have a flash going. So now we're going to go over. We're going to click on personalization. If you have a file saved, press yes. If not, click no. When you click no, it actually reads the data from the EZS and it personalizes the conductor plate. So now you can see it's personalized, but it's not activated. Just to be on the safe side, we turn the key to the off position turn it back on and now we're going to hit activate and the activation is done now we're going to read it you can see it's personalized and activated now another thing we read the config from the used one that came out you don't have to do this on most of the uh, the 7G transmissions, but it's not a bad thing to put in the VIN number. So we're going to put the VIN number in so that everything looks good. 